How you doing YouTube and fellow gamers? This is Car98 Killer Mad here to give you a few tips today on uh, how to excel your, your gameplay in Tomb Raider multiplayer. Uh, team Deathmatch to be exact. Um, this is the game I'm talking about just in case. Uh, the newest Tomb Raider. It's the only Tomb Raider on the 360 that has multiplayer. Um, anyways, let's cut to the chase. Tip 1. There are two overpowered weapons in Team Deathmatch. Uh, the minigun and the competition bow, they are better than any weapon that you can equip for either the survivors or the Solari. And you want to get to them, get to them as quick as possible. As soon as the match starts, you want to get one of those weapons if you can. And there are at least two spots on each of the five maps that I know of personally. Um, there may be more than two, I'm not 100% sure, but I know there's at least two main spots on each of the five maps where either the minigun or the competition bow will spawn, and um, both of them won't spawn in the map at the same time, only one of the two will be in there, but they're both really, really good. The minigun medium to in close range is just unstoppable and even pretty powerful long range if fired like semi-automatically, and um, the competition bow in my opinion is the best is the best weapon in the game overall. It's just, it's a one hit kill automatically. The draw time and the hold time is just, it's wicked quick and long. It's just awesome. And um, anyways, the tip one is basically look up the videos on YouTube for the spots on these maps where these overpowered weapons, the minigun and the competition bow can be found. And uh, I know there's videos because I've looked them up myself. Look up these spots and as soon as the team deathmatch starts, I say go for them, you know, go for that minigun or go for the competition bow. If it's in not, if it's not in one spot, then most likely it's going to be in the other. So try to get to those spots before the other team gets to it. And you will notice that these higher ranked players will go for those weapons at the start of the match. They give you, you and your team a huge advantage, especially not for the other team to have them. And, and they kill quick and they're very tough to go against. So, so definitely go for those weapons. Um, anyways. Tip two, a uh, quick tip, if you're using machine guns and stuff, um, you know, with damage on and stuff, they can qu kill quick if you're accurate, but uh, when using them, if you start getting shot at first and hit, uh, jump in, in sprint with B. Um, jumping a lot though, especially jumping around a lot, um, back and forth and stuff will uh, help, help, you to avoid, help you avoiding getting hit from uh, you know the enemy's bullets and that's that's definitely a good tactic jumping and sprinting at the same time like sprint jump sprint jump and then going around corners and coming back with the machine guns because they do take a while to kill sometimes and if you want to get multi kills and not get killed while doing it you're gonna have to you know maneuver around and, and jump a lot so jumping uh, with machine guns is tip two um, tip three is um, well tip three is my personal personal preference of a weapon. Uh, I use the recurve bows as a Solari and Survivor as my main weapon uh, personally. Um, like I just said, you can get the recurve bow as Solari or Survivor and it's unlocked pretty early on in the game and and I know that there is a bow either for the Survivor or the Solari that isn't the recurve bow that is unlocked before that but uh, anyways uh, my favorite class to use, this is a nice tip too because I do really well, especially if you're good at aiming the bow. Um, I use a class, uh, you know, recurve bow class with, um, you know, the perk I use is pincushion, which means, you know, someone that has a fully charged arrow, you know, if they shoot me with that fully charged arrow, I have pincushion on and that's gonna help, that's gonna, you know, save my life, you know, I'll, I'll go down, all the way down in health, but at least I won't die from that one shot, I'll be able to take two arrows instead of one with pincushion, but um, with the recurve bow, you definitely want to put, uh, as your projectile, you want to, you want to increase that damage, and um, as the attach, as the attachment on there, you know, you definitely want to have the draw time on the recurve bows increased, so you can get that re that charge time uh, on the bows, you know, you, you gotta have your charge go up fast so you can kill people quicker and have, you know, have the damage uh, of the bow do its full potential to people. So, you know, get the one hit kills you, you know, you, you really want. And um, a good place to use the bows is right in the spawn. As soon as the game starts, um, especially on uh, 
monastery and chasm if you sit in your spawn you can pick people off like a mofo man like a mofo that's what I be doing on monastery and chasm you dig man I'm telling you these recurve bows draw the draw time and um, you know the damage if people don't have pin cushion on they're going down if you're in your spawn on monastery and chasm with that and uh, def definitely use extra ammo so you don't have to get out of your spawn and uh, sooner or later you will because they don't let you sit in there like it's like two or three minutes you get to sit in there but when you have to get out you'll have like six kills by then and it's it's a good I mean it sounds cheap but it is a good way to get your team off to a good start and stuff uh, and everything but um, you know if you're not using that strategy you know sitting in the spawn with the bow uh, definitely go like I said tip one go for those two you know those two big weapons on them maps the minigun and uh, you know the minigun and the competition bow because those things they do mass damage mass damage alright so um, all you guys have a great day and I hope you use these tips and um, I hope they help you help your KD help your stats and help you enjoy multiplayer and team deathmatch especially a lot more peace guys have a great day